Welcome to Useful and Useless Things. This time we're going to talk about a very useful thing, the compression dry sack. This particular one is made by Outdoor Research, but there are others available. And what it does is it both compresses your gear and keeps it dry at the same time, which is actually not that easy because of all the air that gets trapped inside the bag. But we'll show you how this one is designed to let the air out while keeping everything else dry. Now in here, at present, I have my rain kit. My rain kit consists of a packable shell, a towel, a hat, and a bag cover. And you can see it's pretty long, uh, many times, well, at least four or five times width of my hand. And I'd like it to be smaller, out of the way, and nice and tight. Now you can put the bag inside your bag, or you can put it on the outside of your backpack or whatever bag you're carrying. Uh, I prefer to put it outside because this stuff uh, will be will stay dry until it starts raining, and then that's when you'll need to get it out. And it needs to, you need to dry when you first take it out. So first you start by shaking it down a little bit and letting it settle to the bottom. And you can see there's, see there's uh, now there's some blank space there near the top where you're going to be rolling up the top. And for demonstration purposes, I'll do that with just one hand. Uh, normally, you'd probably use two hands. And you roll it up nice and tight. And you can see it's reasonably tight and watertight there. And then you're going to bring that buckle together and make a nice loop. And there you've got the bag. And I notice a little D-ring atop. That's where I prefer to attach it to the bag. There's also other ways to attach the bag. Uh, you don't want to use the buckle, though. The buckle is not a good place to attach. You don't want to put strain on that or possibly even risk popping it open. Now, at the bottom, there's a little loop there. You can use that to attach to the bag. And also, on the side, there's some webbing that you can use for attachment purposes. And I, I do use that as well. So, but you, as you can see, it's still pretty long and needs to be compressed. So I'm going to demonstrate the compression for you. I'd like to get it about half where it is now. So, you'll notice all around the bag, there are four compression straps. And the straps are, and you're going to pull on those straps to compress the bag. Now, you may think the air will get trapped, but you'll see that the air does come out. So we start by just gently pulling on the straps a little bit just to get a a big part of the empty space out. You don't have to, you, you want to go around and tighten it up as you go, kind of like putting on a tire. And you can see the air is coming out as I compress and pull and just go around and tighten as tight as you want. Uh, usually, at some point, there's diminished returns. There goes the air. Now, everything in here is, is very compressible. I'm not worried about damaging it, so I'm, I can get pretty tight with it. And this could be a sleeping bag. It could be lots of other things that, that are compressible. Now, the straps are a little bit of a nuisance, but you can tuck them underneath. Uh, I won't show that right now, but yeah, you can. they're not that hard to get out of the way. And you can see that it's compressing nicely. And I can pull a little harder, get a little more air out, a little more compression, but I won't go through that exercise too much. Just enough to, you can see right now that it's down to a nice size, much smaller, a little bit more than the width of my hand now. And it's going to fit on the bag. It's going to be tight. It's not going to move around. What's that? Anyway, I got those straps out of the way. That, that, 
I won't bore you with that. So there you have it. The compression dry sack. Everything nice and dry, everything nice and tight and small. And you can put it on the outside of your bag. You don't have to take up valuable space inside. And when it starts to rain, the rain kit's ready to go. Now, of course, it can be, it doesn't have to be a rain kit, it can be lots of other things as well. Uh, it could be food, it could be all kinds of stuff. So, outdoor research, compression dry sack, a useful thing.